queerness is when you do not belong to the mainstream anywhere that is with the majority queer is so wide and wonderful and different it's amazing hi i'm brun it's jordo brunhilde i am 25 summers young and i use she her pronouns and i live in the wonderful city of copenhagen i wish we did say automatically intersectionality when we said pride but fact is we are still lacking a lot of intersectional understanding within our progress there is still a hell of a lot of work to do and the, i mean there's no doubt that our queer ancestors did some crucial work for us during the stonewall riots but i still see my queer siblings having their voices stories live silent in the name of a mainstream pride often pride has become this fight for assimilation like a movement that it's trying for us to assimilate but the problem is that assimilation is not our liberation assimilation is when you try to live your life as the norm assimilation is damaging because we cannot live that way some might be able to assimilate which is what we see often within the pride movements but some of us can't so therefore there is no liberation if it's only for some of us and not for all of us in short pink washing and rainbow capitalism is the performative support and inclusion of lgbtqia+ people when it comes to lgbtqia+ rights what we often see is that it is this performative way of putting on a gay friendly marketing stunt so that people countries companies appear more modern, inclusive and diverse without actually doing the work. It's fake. It's performative. <laughs> I'd wish I could say yes that pride lives up to my expectations, but unfortunately it doesn't. It brings us back to the conversation of intersectionality again. The thing they could do is to center the most marginalized voices. It is the people of color, the the indigenous queer people it is black brown queer people it is trans people it is people who are not able to assimilate into our oppressive structure of capitalism i feel like the thing that i do that i bring is critique i want to show you the queer liberation of copenhagen i want to show you the faces and voices of those we do not see in the newspapers i want to take you along and show you the wonderful women and femmes of our community here in Copenhagen and i can't wait to show that all us girls are awesome and that we all deserve to be that girl <laughs>